welcome to AC BTEC, your guide for BTEC and BN. In the today's topic, we will discuss regarding unijunction transistor. It is a single junction transistor and uh, what is its applications we can study today. UJT. UJT stands for Unijunction Transistor. Means single. Uni means single. Uni Junction Transistor. Okay. Uh, in this Unijunction Transistor, it has Single junction, it has single junction, three layers or three lights. Okay, a lightly doped, a lightly doped, n type bar. A lightly doped n type bar is used, is used. Okay. Top, top end of n type bar, a lead, a lead beta is kept. Bottom end. Bottom end of P type bar, a lead B1 is kept. The resistance between two leads, the resistance between the two leads. B1 and B2 is is RB1 plus RB2. Okay. Next. A P type layer. Or material is sandwiched, sandwiched at the top end, top end of the n-type bar, which is close to the which is close to the lead B1, B2 sir, which is close to the lead B2, known as emitter, emitter. Okay, now the construction you can see is the construction of UJT. In this construction, Okay, students, this terminal is known as B2, this terminal is known as B1, and here this terminal is known as emitter. 
and this total is an n type bar this is a construction you can see it has only one p and n it is a p material and it is an n material highly doped p material is sandwiched in the lightly doped n type bar now it is a p and one you have only a single junction you have only a single junction that is why it is named as a uni uni junction okay it is a known as an emitter terminal it is b2 and it is b1 and the internal resistance between b2 and b1 is known as rb1 and that we will redraw the structure that we will redraw it and a symbolic symbolic representation okay it is emitter it is b2 okay this b2 this b1 to also circuit circuit diagram we may draw in this manner the pn junction diode it is this is our b1 This is a construction. This is a circuit diagram. Okay, students, you can see in the previous diagram. This is the construction of UJT. You have a single junction, one P material and N material. A bigger within an N-type bar. Uh, the internal this this will draw this is an emitter with op open, and here. this terminal is a b2 and this terminal is a b1 is it this is a construction of a ujt okay students now you can see here here we are applying the voltage vbb and here you are applying the voltage ve during the positive half cycle uh, this will become say reverse bias that all all operations will study here okay and this rb1 and rb2 are known as are known as interbase interbase resistance rb1 and rb2 are known as interbase resistance between between b2 and b1 p2 and b1 of n type silicon bar n type silicon bar you can see in the previous okay this b2 and b1 in between this you have this uh, 
R1, RB1 and RB1, RB1 and RB2, those are known as internal base resistance. And therefore, the total resistance, the interbase resistance, the interbase resistance between B1 and B2 is that is RBB. This RBB is nothing but RB1 plus RB2. Now the output voltage. Now here by applying the voltage divider rule, what is the voltage across RB1 that we will discuss? That is the voltage across RB1 is V1, that is V1 is equal to applied voltage VBB, VBB is the applied voltage VBB into across resistor, into across resistor is RB1 by total resistance RB1 plus RB2. Okay. V1 is equal to VBB into RB1 by RB1 plus RB2. Okay. Therefore, where, where eta, where eta stands for intrinsic standoff ratio. Intrinsic standoff ratio. Intrinsic standoff ratio. Eta is equal to Rb1 by Rb1 plus Rb2. And the typical value, okay? The typical value, the typical value of eta lies between the typical value of eta lies between point that is point five six point five six to point seven five the intrinsic stand of ratio value that is eta is equal to R B one by R B one plus R B two. Now we will go for the operation. We will go for the operations. Now when when applied voltage that is VBB is positive then then the diode is the diode is open circuit okay then it is operating in operating in cutoff region cutoff region no current will flow no current will flow cutoff region a small leakage current leakage current flows from a small leakage current flows from emitter due to minority current minority current okay you can see here from the diagram we can understand see here now due to this VBE when it is a positive half circuit Positive and here negative. Positive negative, this diode will become reverse bias. When diode is become reverse bias, then it is operated in a cutoff region. It means uh, it is an off switch. No current is flowing through this. But in a reverse bias, the current flows through the PN junction diode is a uh, minority current. That is, when it is reverse bias, current flows through the diode is a leakage current or minority current or reverse saturation current is in an order of 
10 power minus uh, 6 or 10 power minus 9. It is made up of silicon in nano amperes. It is made up of germanium uh, micro amperes. That is why it is very clear, micro nano stand here clear, when you are applying an input voltage due to which a cross wave may be, this diode is in reverse of bias. Suppose here positive, due to positive, negative, reverse of bias. Is it clear? Then uh, it is uh, due to this reverse bias, a small reverse bias current will flow, that is a leakage current, and that leakage current is in order of a micro amperes. Is it clear? Uh, now, the next concept is when you are applying an input voltage here, now here, here positive. When the applied voltage across the emitter terminal, it is emitter, it is B2, it is B1. Okay, across the emitter, across the emitter terminal, the applied input voltage is greater than the cutting voltage of the diode. The V voltage should be greater than the cutting voltage of the diode. The applied input voltage that is VE that is greater than the cutting voltage. VE greater than the cutting voltage, then only the diode starts conduction. Then only diode starts conduction. Okay, that we will see here. When, when applied input voltage, input voltage VE greater than greater than cutting voltage greater than cutting voltage then the diode becomes the diode becomes diode becomes forward bias forward bias okay as v increasing as V increasing, what happens? V increasing, current, current through diode is also increases. Current through diode increases. Okay. Next. Okay. The voltage V is gradually, the voltage V is gradually decreases by increasing the, by increasing the IE current, by increasing the IE current through the diode, through the diode which exhibits which exhibits a negative resistance characteristic, a negative resistance characteristics. Okay, that we will see now. This side is VP, this side is IE, VE, voltage across emitter, diode, VE, VE, IE. Now you can see here. This point is known as VP, 
वेर वीपी इज इक्वल टू ईटा इंटू वीबीबी प्लस वे गामा पीक वोल्टेज ईटा इंटू वीबीबी इंटू वे गामा दिस दिस करेंट आईपी पीक करेंट दिस इज अ वैली This I will represented as PV valley voltage. It is a peak peak voltage. It is a valley voltage, and it is a valley current IV. And this exhibits This exhibits a negative resistance. Negative resistance. This exhibits a negative resistance. Okay, and uh, from this point to this point, we will call it as a cutoff region. Cutoff region, or we will call it as a leakage current. leakage current from this point to this we will call as a saturation current saturation current this point is a peak point peak point this point is a valley point okay students you can see here from the circuit diagram say when vbb when you are applying the voltage vbb forward bias that is positive half circuit the desired will be reverse bias during which a, a small leakage current can be flows the small leakage current is this in the diagram you can see clearly there is a leakage current whatever the current flowing this there is a leakage current is it clear but when uh, voltage is increased across the emitter terminal it it starts increasing the current okay and it reaches to the peak point it reaches to the peak point then by increasing the voltage by the applied input voltage then Uh, across a VB, V and VBB, the voltage across emitter is gradually decreasing. The emitter across the voltage is gradually decreasing. This voltage is decreasing and it falls at a uh, this point. This is called as a valley point. This is a VI characteristics of the. This is a VI characteristics of the uh, UJT, unit junction transistor. it exhibits a negative resistance under forward bias characteristics that is why the application of a ujt as a relaxation oscillator due to this negative resistance it can be used as an oscillator it can be used as a oscillator circuits okay students this is about a ujt unit junction transistor easy btech guide for btech and bn thank you